The far right has made massive gains following federal elections in two German states, with exit polls showing they are now the strongest party in Thuringia. The Pope is heading on his longest papal tour ever as he heads to Asia to rally the region's growing Catholic community. 85 years after the outbreak of World War II, a commemorative event took place in Poland at the site of the attack which sparked the conflict. Hello and good evening from Airport in Turinga. I am here at an anti-right-wing protest that is going on just outside the Turinga State Parliament. The exit polls were just announced. The AFD has come out the strongest party in Turinga, followed by the Christian Democrats, which is the centre-right party. Over in Saxon, the CDU is leading, followed by the far-right alternative for Germany. The Sarah Wagenknecht Alliance, which is the new far-left party that was only established this year, has performed particularly well in both Thuringia and Saxony. The most surprising result of the night so far has been that the Linka didn't perform as badly as expected and has managed to get seats in both Saxony and Thuringia. The parties of the main coalition, the Social Democrats, the Greens and the Liberals, also didn't perform as badly in Saxony as expected. Voter turnout was much higher than 2019 and it seems that the voters wanted to send a very strong message to the current coalition government. Liv Stroud in Erfurt for Euronews. The Pope is beginning his longest, furthest and most challenging trip ever to Asia. Pope Francis will be visiting Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, East Timor and Singapore during his 11-day trip. Travelling tens of thousands of kilometres, the journey will far surpass any of his previous trips, being one of the longest papal tours ever. Per il frutto di questo viaggio. During his trip, the Pope will deliver 16 speeches and hold several giant masses as he seeks to rally the region's growing Catholic community. While attempting to bolster ties with local Catholics, the Pope also aims to bridge religious divides in a majority Muslim country like Indonesia during a visit to an iconic mosque. Francis also faces challenges like addressing growing discrimination amongst religious minorities in Indonesia and a sexual abuse scandal in East Timor. The Pope is expected to address some of the key issues that have marked his tenure as head of the Catholic Church, including the environment. A commemoration marking the 85th anniversary of the outbreak of World War II took place in the northern Polish city of Gdańsk. Veterans, troops and delegations from across Poland participated in the event alongside Polish politicians at the location where the war was triggered decades ago. Nearly 6 million Poles died in the conflict which killed more than 50 million people overall. Poland's current pro-EU government led by Prime Minister Donald Tusk has urged Germany to provide financial compensation over losses the country sustained at the hands of Nazi troops. According to Polish media, discussions between the two countries on financial compensation to living victims are underway, with Poland estimating up to 70,000 people would be eligible. Speaking at the ceremony, Tusk said the lessons of the World War were not an abstraction and drew parallels with the ongoing war in neighbouring Ukraine. Students in Greece will be required to keep their mobile phones in their school bags at all times during lessons when the new academic year starts in September. The new regulations were announced on Saturday by Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis. <laughs> για το πώς η χρήση του κινητού κατά τη διάρκεια της ημέρας στο σχολείο επηρεάζει την ιδέα τη μαθησιακή διαδικασία είναι καταλυτικά από την διάσπαση προσοχής μέχρι άλλα σημαντικά ζητήματα. Είναι σαφές ότι το κινητό δεν έχει θέση στο σχολείο την ώρα της, της ημέρας. Under the new rules, pupils who don't comply will be excluded from school for one day. In the case of a repeat offence, teachers have the power to remove pupils from lessons for several days. And anyone filming their classmates or their teachers without permission could face expulsion from school.